Mark Zuckerberg is worth $17.5 billion. The Facebook IPO is going to happen soon, and it could be you know, bigger than people think. We don't think it's going to be as big as those people think. So we're going with a conservative valuation for him right now. It could go up. They could all go up. Him, Dustin Moskovitz, who's on the list at $3.5 billion, and Sean Parker, who's on the list at two. But Mark's the one to watch. He's running, running Facebook, uh, and he has, you know, through a clever agreement with those two guys, assumed majority voting control. He, Dustin Moskovitz, Sean Parker will let Mark vote their shares. So he's, the man is, is in total control, as, as he has been trained to, to be, like Bill Gates, to make sure you own the ship. Eduardo Saverin is the oldest of the Facebook bunch. He actually turns 30 this month in March. Um, he's actually the one who sort of distanced himself the most from the website since its founding. He lives out in Singapore, uh, where he's been investing in a bunch of small sort of social media and tech startups. So at the grand old age of 30, he's worth only $2 billion. Alejandro Santo Domingo is 35. He's from Colombia. He's single. He lives in New York. He inherited his fortune when his father, Julio Mario Santo Domingo, died last summer. It's basically tied up in beer. Um, his father had a beer company in Colombia that called Bavaria, and he swapped it for shares in SAB Miller, and those shares are now worth close to $9 billion. Chase Coleman is actually the grandson of Peter Stuyvesant, so he comes from money, um, but he actually made a fortune in hedge funds. He's the top earner this year. He made bets on Zynga and LinkedIn. He actually is one of the protégés of Julian Robertson of the Tiger Fund, so he's called a Tiger Cub. Um, so he's kind of New York elite, um, and he's only 36 years old. Um, so he comes from good stock, but he's also proven to be very good at making his own fortune. Sergey Brin and Larry Page um, are two of our youngest guys on the world's billionaires list. They're both under 40. Um, unfortunately, they're both down on the list this year because even though Google stock is only down about 3%, that means over a billion dollars for each of them. It's been a big year for both of them. Larry Page took back the reins as CEO from Eric Schmidt, who'd been there for 10 years. Uh, back when Google was uh, an upstart and these guys were in their 20s, they needed some adult supervision. Um, they're also uh, trying to take back some of the market share from younger social media startups like Facebook. Uh, they launched Google Plus uh, in 2011, and they already have 90 million plus users. So Robert Para is 34 years old. He started this company called Ubiquity Networks, which went public late last fall. I got to meet him in December. Um, he's a uh, former Apple hardware engineer, and he started his own company, bootstrapped the whole thing. It went public last October, and um, he owns most of the company. It makes systems for basically wireless internet service provider people around the world. He's got tons of enthusiastic customers. Kevin Plank is the guy who created Under Armour. He created it when he was a college student. He was an athlete and he decided that he didn't like the way that the shirts wicked away the sweat and he wanted something that could repel it and he created this fabric. And since then it's become the Nike up-and-comer and he joins the list for the first time.